So here is Zephyr, and we are at the Mustang Classic in Lexington, Kentucky, in the big Rolex Arena, coming in to do our training level test too. He came in very nice and straight, and it felt really good to feel him square up and do that really nice halt. So making sure we come in, get a little bit of an inside bend to make sure that I uh, keep his attention as we go past the judge's box and the photographer. Now he is a little bit mouthy still in the contact. He's gotten a lot better. The biggest things I've worked on with him because uh, he naturally wants to get a little low has just really been coming through the hind end uh, and riding with a very soft hand. Uh, and he has a, a bit of a thick, uh, wide palette. So um, finding the right bit for him has really been kind of the key to get him a little bit happier in the bridle. And he felt very relaxed. Uh, I was able to really ride accurate to every letter. And again, my goal was to really kind of keep him steady, keep the pole up, preparing him for the canter transition by sitting. And that was very good. Coming around on our 20 meter circle. And just a little bit where he hollowed out just a smidgen. I lost the bend and he came above me for a second. But then very good for the down transition. And now coming in for our stretchy trot. He does really good to go down there. And it's still a work in progress getting him to kind of stay all the way down in the stretch. But I was really quite pleased with how willing he was um, willing to go for that stretch. And now coming into our down transition. And he was a very good boy. And now this first pat, uh, part of this broken diagonal is a medium walk. So still really marching, but we're in a more so a medium frame. And then I'm going to try to make sure I get before the letter so I can make my turn right at the letter. And then uh, do my free walk, which he's very willing, very happy. Again, I was very thrilled with how comfortable he was in this atmosphere. And he was very good about me taking up the reins to prepare for our trot transition at C. And at this moment, I remember going, I can hear a pin drop. It was so quiet. And still just always working on thinking of having that hind leg coming forward to help him lift the front end. And you'll notice that I'm in his jumping saddle because for this level, um, you can still go in a jump saddle, but I felt like he was uh, more comfortable and more willing to kind of come up through the withers in his jump saddle. So that's why he's uh, in it at the moment. And then making sure I utilize my corners, but still making sure also that I protect a little bit at the uh, open gate spot. So a little bit of outside leg, outside rein. And then across the diagonal again, um, we had certain coefficients where things were times two. So really trying to make sure I maximize my points. And I go back in for sitting to prepare for the right lead. Use a little slate off my aids, but we got it right before. And I had to encourage a little bit. Again, he's just feeling very good, very relaxed. And then coming to our final transition, putting him in a little bit of shoulder four just to help here with this turn. And then anytime I get down in that corner and I have a center line, I always just think turn, 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 because if you don't, you'll get a little overshot. But now coming into our final halt, and again, he just nailed it, and uh, I was really happy with him. It was one of his personal best tests that he's done um, kind of all season long and uh, ended up scoring a 72% and uh, winning the dressage class. So couldn't have been more thrilled with him and his performance on dressage day.
So now heading into the arena cross country, they um, had several different types of cross country jumps out there and I, I really wanted Zephyr to kind of get his eyes around, see the judges that were there. Um, they were very accommodating and letting us kind of let the horses look around the arenas first before they started us off. So that was really nice because again, it's a big atmosphere for these young horses. And um, so I just wanted to make sure I took the time with him, kind of let him have a moment here to take a breath. Um, this is pretty much what I do every time before I start a show jump round or anything in the arena when we're at a competition. So he's gonna feel like it's no different than kind of what we've already done. So the whistle has blown and I'm gonna head to the first fence. I'm going to make sure that I use my body and sit up and <laughs> he made a, a very bold attacking heading towards the first fence and something that was interesting too is on some of the jumps that had ferns the wind was blowing and so that was distracting quite a few horses but uh, he really does love the cross country part and he's jumping very well. And he's been competing at the beginner novice level so this was well within his repertoire and he was just feeling very nice and rideable. I was able to do an inside turn here. I really wanted to show his rideability. And paid no mind to that Lincoln log fence. I lost a little bit of my outside aids there so that's why he kind of swapped off but this was actually a faux ditch which was really fun uh, and he jumped that great. And now heading to the last fence. And you can see he listens really well and jumps at fantastic. So really pleased with him. We ended up second uh, overall in the cross country, arena cross country. So I was really proud of him and uh, how professional he was. So now heading into the final phase which was the show jump. So again, they've uh, kind of taken down some of the cross country jumps and there was a fair amount of people around there and you can see he was kind of looking a little bit. So I wanted to prepare him by kind of making sure he was comfortable by trotting around the judges because there is a jump quite close that um, was distracting horses. Probably in hindsight, I should have taken him over and trotted him around on um, some of the other cross-country jumps because um, he was unsure when they weren't flagged while they were, why there were piles of jumps out there, cross-country jumps, when we were show jumping. So I got kind of a giggle out of that. Um, but again, going to take my time here, waiting for the whistle. And I always kind of go over in that side of the arena because that seemed to be the the um, spooky side of the arena for the horses. Uh, and also, this height was set at 2-3. Um, and you can see, whoops, there was a little bit of a spook there at the pile of jumps. So we just lost a little bit of focus before we went through the start flags. But um, this height for him is a smidge on the low side as he really respects the bigger fences. Uh, so he jumped the first three rather well. Now coming here, I saw a bit of a deep spot, so I asked him to steady, which he did really well. We just barely tipped that. And as they do this, they do the judging for this round, very similar to how they do the Young Event Horse Series and also the, the RRP. So each jump has a score out of 10. So uh, depending on how the horse jumped the jump, um, again, like rails and stops, it kind of all goes in with the scoring of that one particular jump versus the round. So here I tried to do inside turn. He kind of got a little confused and thought that we should lock on it. Uh, but he was a very good boy. Listen to me. And then I'm going to make sure we get the correct lead. And this fence was could have been a bit spooky because it was right there on the rail next to the banners, but he was a very good boy about that. And then just lost a little bit of concentration there because again he was spooking at the unflagged cross-country jumps. 
and then coming to the final jump and he was very good so this round put us in fourth uh, but then we did end up um, going into the top 10 for the freestyle